Hello and welcome back to Sunday School. We are so excited to see you again. For the next number of weeks, our Sunday School lessons are going to be themed through the color of the rainbow. Last week, we had purple or violet, and this week, we have blue. So if you have a candle at home that you'd like to light when I light the Christ candle, I invite you to go get that now. Blue is a fun color, isn't it? It always reminds me of summer. Whether that's a big blue sky that we see on those hot summer days, or the blue of water, maybe if we're at a beach vacation, or the blue of the ocean, if we find ourselves maybe on a cruise ship or something in those times where we don't have COVID pandemic to worry about. Blue is a fun color, and today's lesson is themed in the color of blue because we're talking about baptism. Lydia, the lesson that we started last week, was that merchant who sold purple cloth. Well, she and her family were baptized at the end of that story. And so we're looking at blue as our baptism color. Blue, when we talk about baptism, many churches do baptisms in different ways. Some churches put the whole person as an adult under water and baptize them that way. Other churches will pour on people's heads, whether that's a, a young person or an older person. In the United Church, we usually baptize people when they're really small, and we will put the sign of a cross on their head with the baptism water. Well, I invite you now to light your Christ candle, to remind us that Christ's presence, the presence of Jesus is with us here today in our Sunday School lesson and with us at all times. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for our Sunday School lesson that we are about to enter into. We pray that you would be with our parents, bless them, keep them safe, our parents, our teachers, our coaches and friends, all of our family members. We ask that you would watch over them during this very scary time. Be with us as we learn about Lydia and how Lydia and her family were baptized. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, have a great Sunday School lesson, and we will see you next week. Bye. Hi, friends. Hope you're having a great day. Today in our Spark Bible lesson, we are taking a deeper dive into the Lydia story. Do you remember learning about a little bit about Lydia last week when we introduced you to her? Hopefully you do. Lydia was a very wonderful and very successful businesswoman. She sold and made purple cloth. Back then, purple was a really, really hard color to make. Her story happens in the second half of our Spark Bible here. The first half is called the Old Testament and it's full of stories of God. The second half is full of the stories of Jesus. This story takes place in the second half and we are going to be looking at baptism. Last week, we looked at the color purple in the beginning of our series of lessons about the colors of the rainbow. And this week, can you figure out what, what color we're looking at? If you looked around, you'd figure it out. Yes, that's right. We're gonna take a deep dive into the color blue. I picked blue, we picked blue, because it's the color of baptism. Do you know what baptism means? It's a Greek word that means to dip or immerse in water. Baptism identifies us with the life of Jesus. This story takes place on the day of Sabbath, which is the rest day for Jewish people. There was a group of people standing around a river in Philippi. They were all women and they had come together to pray. They believed in the Lord God and loved God very much. One of the women was called Lydia. She's the one who made beautiful red and purple material that people could use to make wonderful clothes. Paul and his friends Silas, Timothy, and Luke were missionaries. They traveled wherever God wanted them to, to tell people about Jesus. Paul and Silas had traveled all the way from Antioch. Now they and their friends were in the city of Philippi. 
on the Sabbath day, they arrived. They went down to find a pla place to pray near the river. There were already a group of women there. Lydia was a worshiper of God, but she did not know about Jesus. <clears throat> so Paul told Lydia about Jesus. Jesus was God's son, and he had died on the cross. Lydia learned that after Jesus died, he was buried and then rose again on the third day. When Lydia heard about Jesus, she wanted to follow him too. She wanted to be baptized so she could be like Jesus. She was dipped under the water and she came up from the water and it made her feel so close to God. After Lydia was baptized, everyone in her household was baptized too. Then Lydia invited Paul and his friends to come and stay at her house. They were so happy to be together and to be followers of Jesus. That's our story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll continue to explore the colors of the rainbow with us in the coming weeks. Have a great day, friends. Hi there. I hope you're having a good day today. Today, we are talking about our friend Lydia. Now, Lydia was not just an amazing businesswoman who sold beautiful purple cloth. Lydia was so excited about the stories of Jesus that she wanted to be part of it. So she was baptized. Now, when you think of baptism, we often think of the Holy Spirit and maybe a dove that represents the Holy Spirit, but we also think of something else because of what we use or what people use when we're baptized. Can you think of what that might be? Are you saying it out loud? It's water, that's right, if you said it, good for you. What color do we think of when we think of water? Are you saying it? It's blue. If you said blue, you're right. So we're talking about also our, our rainbow. We're celebrating the rainbow. So this week we're celebrating the color blue. So for this activity, you are going to need a coffee filter so it can be the cone kind that's more round, or it can be this, this um, shape here. Actually, I think this is the cone kind. The other one, anyway, it doesn't matter. The round kind or this kind, you need, a, you need a coffee filter. You need as many different colors of blue marker as you can find, and you need a pair of scissors. Okay, friends, so let's get to work. So what we're going to do with our coffee filter, either the round ones with the scalloped edges or this kind here, you're going to start by drawing squiggles, circles, squares, dots, doesn't matter, all over your coffee filter, all over the place. Leave some white Okay, so I did some dark ones here. Okay, I've got some navy blue. I've got some, I don't know, this one doesn't have a color, but some light, lighter blue. Maybe you've got a turquoise blue at home. Maybe you've got, I don't know, turquoise, cornflower, sky blue, light blue medium blue, whatever. If you can, there's many different colors of blue as you can find, that's what's gonna be best for this, okay? And you can, like I said, circles, squares, swirls, um, waves, whatever you want. Oh, my marker's drying out here. Whatever makes you happy, whatever design. You still want some white on your, on your coffee filter. 
The first one I did, I pretty much all colored in and it didn't work out well. So leave some white. Okay, see, this is what I did. Now you're gonna take your, oh, did I say you needed a water spritzer? Sorry. You need a water spritzer or like a spray bottle. And if you don't have that, that's okay. You can just get a little bowl of water and then flick the water onto your, onto your um, coffee filter. Okay, so now I'm just gonna give it a little light shower. It doesn't need to be soaking, but it does need to be, it does need to be wet. To see what happens is that the colors start to run kind of like tie dye. Well, that's exciting. It's kind of fun to watch. I also used friends a placemat because it does tend to get a little bit everywhere. All right, so now you're going to want to let that dry a little bit because it does get pretty wet and floppy and it's hard to work with when it's when it's that wet. Now, after they're dry, you can make some fun things with this. So I made a teardrop or a water drop shape. I can hang that in the window for a little sun catcher. Or I, I just freehand, doesn't have to be perfect by any, any means. I made this little scalloped edge flower shape and then if you have like a, a dowel or a, this is a, a skewer, a wooden skewer, you could just cut out a little flower shape and stick it through the middle. Oops. And if you did a couple of them, stick it through the middle, then you'd have, oops. I think actually, I think a pipe cleaner would work better, friends. This, this is not working super well. I think a pipe cleaner would work a lot better because then you could tie it around. But look, then you have, then you have a whole little flower that you could give to someone. You might need a little dollop of glue or a little piece of tape but that looks pretty, doesn't it? You could do, yeah. You could even cut out a little, like once it's dry, it's really hard to do when it's wet. So I would wait till it's dry, which might take the whole day or overnight, but you could even cut out like a snowflake shape. That would be fun. And then you could just hang them all around. And um, these will remind you of your own baptism and remind you that you are part of God's family, you are part of your church family, and you are part of our family. And that's a good reminder because it means you are never alone and you are loved. And that's a good thing to know, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed this little activity and I hope you have a great week. Take care until we see you again. Bye for now.